Okay guys, let me show you how it works. So in this script I have Moronville loaded in. So tons and tons of uh, polygons. Now let's go to the beginning of the script. In this case we do not want to run the game. And I added some Blender stuff. So this is your Blender path executable. And we can export the coordinates and then we can also run Blender immediately if we want to. This is the file where the vertices will be exported to. If you set uh, run Blender to true, it will find the Blender file that is in your directory. So that should be the one we're working with. If you have multiple, it will open multiple instances of Blender, which is not really ideal. But in this case, everything looks fine. So in any case, just save it and then we can run it. Run map editor. And as you see, it's immediately loading up the Blender file. So this was just the example shapes. We can just delete that with X and press delete. So in the scripting section, you can move this around. Um, you see a couple things. So this is the name of the file that's getting imported. And this is the name of the file that is getting exported. In this case, we have import and model to false. Well, we want to set it to true because we're going to model the 2D script. So we can put this to false because this is for exporting. Then we save the file and then we press this run button and then we should see more on veil. And indeed, we have our first custom city with the map editor. Okay, now for the sake of it, let's delete it, uh, delete it again. And then um, let's put the origin back so that shift S to one. Now I'm going to make a few shapes of my own and then export the vertices. So I press space, then plane. Shit. Uh, maybe not that. Add plane. Excuse me. Okay, so the plane is one by one meters, which is a bit too small for us. So let's make it a uh, hundred by hundred. So in Blender, when you go up or north, so to say, it's in the plus Y direction, but in the game it's actually minus Y. Uh, so you can just work with the Blender version and I will do some transformation later. Um, so in this case, what you will see here, the X and the Y, and then the Z is for the height value in 3D. That's a bit different than um, in Metal Madness, but just so you know, I'll do the transformations in the in the script later. Um, okay, so we have our polygon at the center. Let's move it around a bit. So we do uh, maybe maybe 40. So this is, I believe, the same. So when we go to the right, we go in the plus y, uh, x direction. So that's good. And then we can... Uh, select this one and copy it again and then move it around so the height got increased a little bit i'm not so good with blender yet but we can select it and then we see it's at seven meters we'll just put it back to zero and then let's make it a bit uh, smaller and then make it a bit longer so maybe 300 so these are our two polygons for uh, our map we're working with. 
So remember that I only automated flat surfaces and walls. Hills will come later and triangles will come later. And then uh, one cool thing is we can uh, we can name them. So let's go back to this and we can uh, we can name it start area. And then at the end you can also put a value and that will set the material index. But because this will be a road, we will just leave it empty as it is. And then for the second one, we're going to suppose this is water. So what would be logical? Um, water, we're just going to call it water. And then we will give the value 91 because that's the material index for water. And then we will have, auto then we have automatically that. So now we do not want to import any vertices. So we'll put this to false. And then we're going to export the vertices. And then we're also automatically going to open the file after it's been created, because why not? So then we open it. And then we press run, and then we should see the text file immediately. And it did open, but on my second screen, but that's fine. So this looks very much like what we have in the script. What is nice, it will enumerate the bound number. So let's say we have five polygons, it will be the fifth one will be, uh, well, well, four, because it starts from zero. So that's good. It got the material index correctly and then the values. So that means you can just copy paste this to our script. And um, for the example, I'm going to completely delete Mournville. Okay. But what's nice is that it also comments the, the object name. So that's... Uh, I think that will be easy for the user. And, but we haven't set the textures yet. So I backed something up. Um, well, we're just going to use water here. So the 91 is water. And we can also see it from the title. So let's just do this. So we have a matching water texture. And then the first one well, it's just gonna be a starting area, so we'll do a road. And then we will uncommon this. So road six will work fine. Um, we'll just make it 10, also 10 for this. So we have our two polygons, which is great. Uh, one little problem with, uh, with the blender thing is, is it doesn't, create the shapes logically it doesn't sort it logically so if you think in your mind how a rectangle should look like this is going like diagonal and like in a triangle which is not good but it's a relatively easy fix so we have minus 60 to 100 well then we go to then this stays the same but then we go to 140 so what we should just basically do is we just we should swap the third and the fourth one. I will probably automate this, but it's just a small video tutorial. Okay. Then the same for this. So we'll just swap these two. Okay. Then let's go to the top of the scripts. And now we do want to play the game. And then we'll turn this false for now. So we get our starting position completely in the center. And then we do not want to export and we do not want to run it. We do not want to run Blender, that is. So we save it, it should look good. And then we will run the script again. Now we can close this. Sure, we can save it. That's fine. CLS. 
and then we should be able to run the scripts. So this is our map. It seems to have worked. So we have the starting area with the road and then the water, or in my case, it's a sort of an ice texture at the left. And here we can see the results. So that should uh, give a little tutorial on how to use the scripts and the blender part. Good luck.